for Mandla. We know that uh, politics within the ANC in KZN is hotly contested on any given day, uh, but specifically in this region with yesterday's conference uh, disrupted. How are things looking today? Well, the conference was able to start yesterday and it proceeded smoothly. Voting was done at 5 a.m. this morning. Counting is done and dusted. Election results have just been announced. And I can tell you and our viewers that the Moses Mapida region of the ANC in Guazulu Natal, which is the second biggest region of the ANC in the province, has got a new regional leadership and the new chairperson is Mzi Tebola who is the mayor of Msunduzi municipality. He was contesting or he was contested rather by Mzi Zuma who is the mayor of Mkungundrovu district municipality. So the new ch regional chairperson is Mzi Tebola and there is the new regional secretary by the name of Samorandrovu who is the mayor of Richmond local municipality. This is a milestone for this region bearing in mind that the last region conference that duly elected the regional leadership was in 2014. Since then, this region has been plagued by divisions, infighting, factionalism, and including political killings, by the way. I remember in 2018 or 2019, ANC President Sir Ramaphosa visited this region when one of the ANC members and activists, Makata Mkun, was gunned down in this region of Moses Mapida. So this is a region that has been plagued by political political killings, infighting, divisions, disunity, something that Sikhe Zigalala, as the chairperson of the ANC, spoke about yesterday evening when he opened this conference. It was meant to start at 10 a.m. yesterday, but it only commenced and started around about 6 p.m. at night. That tells you about the logistics and the processes that needed to be followed. But as we speak, that conference is underway on my right. I'm going to ask my colleague here, was to show you and, you know, if he can pen and show you delegates are inside there. Right now what is happening is that they are nominating and electing additional members who will become members of the Regional Executive Committee. Now that the top officials of the region have been elected, they are elected, they are now electing REC members. We have had an opportunity to speak with the newly elected chairperson and secretary, and both of them, they are emphasizing the point about working towards the unity of the ANC in this Moses Mapita region, and they are saying one of the immediate tasks will be to ensure that they thoroughly unpack and try to understand what went wrong during the recently held local government elections in this region of the ANC in Moses Mapida and Umkungundrovu district municipality, one municipality which is Umgeni, fell to the hands of the DA for the first time. And as we speak, there is one municipality that is under administration, Pofana municipality in Moi River, and Umsunduzi is the Hang municipality, which is very strange for the capital city and the capital Capital city municipality to be a hung municipality for years. It has always been a stronghold of the governing African National Congress. So the newly elected regional leadership says they will focus on ensuring that they turn things around in this region. Spamandla, uh, given the backdrop of divisions, factionalism and infighting, one has to beg the question, uh, was there a large margin between the newly elected uh, leadership and their competition or was this very narrowly contested? It could be described as narrowly contested, not too much of a margin, you know. I think, in fact, for one position, you had one uh, candidate winning with less than 10 votes, another one winning with uh, less than 17 votes, if I'm not mistaken. So it was not too much of a, a margin. The, content, the contest was very tight. Even yesterday, sources were predicting that it was going to be neck and neck. And I guess what made things a bit complicated here is that that uh, Mzi Zuma was touted as the possible next regional chairperson of the ANC in the Moses Mapida region. Now things happen in politics all the time. About a day or two ago, Mzi Tebola became the candidate and there are some branches and delegates that were lobbying him to contest Mzi Zuma and that shifted the regional dynamics coming into this conference and others had hoped and had nominated, by the way, Mtandeni Lungwa 
Mwane, who is the former regional chairperson, to come back as the regional chair. He's the former MEC of education in Guazulu Natal. He is one of the political players in this region. But yesterday, um, Tandeni Lungwane telling ENCA that he was not going to contest. He was going to support Mzi Zuma to be the regional chair. Mzi Zuma is the former regional secretary here in Moses Mapida. But Mzi Tebola is regarded as one of the senior members of the ANC in this region. Never mind that he has not been deployed to government. I think now that is the mayor of Msunduzi is one of the very few deployments that he's been assigned of late. But I can tell you that the emergence of Mzi Tebola changed things and political dynamics for this conference. And he has emerged as the new regional chairperson. Spamanda, before I let you go, uh, procedures already have been, having been called into question. Is there any likelihood that this new leadership uh, will be called into question or disputed? That possibility is very high. You, ne you may never predict with matters of ANC, Moses Mapita region. This is one of the regions in Wazul Natal that has always been plagued by court action all the time. Even this conference, there are some disgruntled members, aggrieved members who are threatening legal action, saying they will take the matter to court. They did write to the regional task team, the convener and the coordinator of, uh, at the time to say there were irregularities. They are alleging that leading up to this conference, the process of branch nominations, the process of branch general uh, meetings whereby delegates were nominated and branch executive committee members were chosen. Some aggrieved members were alleging that those uh, processes were rigged, those uh, uh, branch general meetings were rigged. So there has been that threat, you know, hanging around this conference. Now that the newly elected leadership is in place, many people are equally are waiting to see what will happen. I did ask the newly elected regional chairperson, Mzi Tebola, to say, are you not worried that your leadership will be challenged in court? He said, well, as far as they know, everything was done according to the book. There is nothing that would warrant for this conference to be challenged. But history has shown us and has proven to us that most of the time, since 2014, regional conferences of the ANC in the Moses Mapida region tend to be challenged in court. However, as we speak, we are not aware of of anything that has been submitted highlighting that this conference could be challenged or has been challenged but there was a threat to challenge it i guess we'll have to wait and see what will happen i spoke to one pec member also who is here attending this conference and uh, she was very much concerned about that possibility saying well now that the leadership is in place they are anticipating that this conference the outcome of it could be challenged but she was saying to me at least now they know what they will be dealing with it's better to have the leadership in place defend whatever challenge that mm -hmm. might rise in court and then move forward because this region has been plagued by divisions and lack of duly elected leadership for years since 2014. Thank you so much uh, for that insightful update. That was ENCA's Sipa Mandla Goge bringing us an update from an election in KZN.